All right, so today we're talking about a Mac OS utility that I absolutely love. This is helpful for Mac admins, for anybody who needs to do any sort of deployment of Mac OS at, in, at mass or testing with Mac OS. This is an invaluable tool. The tool that we're going to be taking a look at today is called Mist. And here it is. Mist is a tool that allows you to download and install, uh, or to you know work with the installate uh, the installers for Mac OS, and it gives you just so many options. Its user interface is amazing. It gives you the ability to see all the firmware options that are available to download as well as installers that you can download as um, onto your computer and i'm going to walk you just kind of through the interface here so with firmwares what we're talking about here is downloading ispws if you're on an intel computer it will actually download the restore file that you can use to restore a um operating system uh, on your computer. And if you download a version, let's just say this one here, that is not compatible with the computer that you're using to download, it will, it will let you know. It will still let you download the firmware if you need to download it and use it for a different computer, which is what a lot of Mac admins would be using this tool for. Um, but I really like this feature. It, it does sort of inform the end user who's using the tool exactly what uh, will work on the current um, computer that is being used and what won't. So this is really, really nice. And I've used this tool on uh, many occasions on end users computers to get the right installer, get the right firmware uh, for a restore, which is really nice. You can show only compatible items, which will take out anything that is not compatible with the workstation that you're working on. And you can also include betas, which is a nice little feature. You can also export the list, which I really love. So this very simple, sleek interface makes it super easy to just see when this was released, how big it is, and the ability to download it. Um, super, super cool. The installers area is where it gets even more exciting because you can click on a release and when you press the download button, you can, obviously it will download the application. So this is the dot app that we're all used to, right? So like Mac OS Sonoma uh, installer dot app. Um, and that's great for making a bootable drive or, um, you know, importing it into Monkey. Um, <clears throat> but you can also download the disk image. Um, and if, when you select multiple, you can unselect the, the first one here. Uh, you can also download it as an ISO file or as a package. And we'll get a little bit more into packages and disk images in a minute, which is, these are really great features um, because it makes the installer that you're downloading ready to deploy. All right. So... Really, really love this. You can also search in the interface to filter the list. Um, and then you can, of course, uh, refresh the, uh, the list of installers. All right, so let's kind of go through the settings. The one thing I really like about the app and any sort of open source app is the ability to check for updates. This is this is really a nice feature that most people sort of take for granted. But as we can see here, they're, they're using a tool called Sparkle. And Sparkle is really great for making sure that anytime there is a new update to the software, I don't have to go to the uh, releases page of the GitHub repo to download the latest version. And we'll take a look at the GitHub repo in just a minute. It'll also show you, uh, gives you an option to see the version history, which is nice. And then... And the settings is where we can actually dig into the meat and potato of how the system works. So obviously, in order to use Mist on Mac OS Ventura and higher, you do need to install this privileged um, helper tool. And the privileged helper tool just gives 
additional layer of support for the app because it is going to be using command line um, uh, utilities to build and download and 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 manage the applications and the packages and the disk images that it's creating um, as you interact with the GUI interface. So absolutely necessary. And it will tell you to install it when you download it. So that's a really nice feature. You also have the ability to enable notifications. You can set retry attempts and retry delays for retrying downloads that don't make it all the way down. And you can automatically check for updates here. Now, firmwares is really nice because you can actually change the naming convention here. So if you wanted to add uh, an additional piece of information in this uh, title, you could actually add more information here if you wanted to. With installers, you can cache downloads to a specific location. So if you have an external hard drive and you don't want these downloads to take up a lot of space on your, on your hard drive, a really awesome feature. You can select that drive here. And then you can also um, use, um, you can use different update catalogs, which is super powerful. So instead of using the standard catalog for Sonoma, I want to use the developer catalog. We can check that and it will add that catalog into the mix when we're looking at the full software list. So really, really cool. Applications. Same deal here. You can change the uh, the naming convention if you want to. Disk images and uh, packages. I really love this feature. You can code sign this disk image. So if you're an Apple developer and you have an Apple developer certificate using Xcode and, and you have that installer disk image type of software deployment um, uh, certificate in your keychain, it will automatically detect that. And you, when you download that disk image or package file, it will actually sign that um, as well so that it's easier to deploy. So if you, if you needed to deploy, you could use that feature. Really, really cool. ISO, same deal. You can change the, 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 the title, which is really nice. Packages, same deal. You can change the title, but you can also code sign as well. And it really, it gives you a little hyperlink here that takes you to the place where you can get more information and then more information about, about MIST, which, you know, is short for the Mac OS installer super tool. Really, really love this tool. So let's take a look at where we can get it and uh, the options that we have around installing it. So the Mac OS installer super tool or MIST can be downloaded on GitHub right? It's github.com forward slash n-i-n-x-soft slash mist. And when you go to this uh, page, you'll see all the features that are available. I've covered most of the features here. And um, as you can see here, it's, it's really quite comprehensive. You can install this, obviously, from the releases page. Or you can actually install this using Homebrew. If you're already using Homebrew, brew install mist, and it will download the app for you. And then credits. I love seeing this. A lot of people are um, contributing, as we've talked about Sparkle. That's the software update. Um, JP Samar, Josh Kaplan, Calum Jones. Um, and of course, it's, it's free and open source. So really, really cool. So what is this tool doing under the hood though, right? Can you download Mac OS installers um, on your own without using this tool? Yes. Can you um, create bootable installers um, without using this tool? 100%, yes. Um, can you deploy Mac OS using other technologies without using this tool? 100%, yes. But having... All of these features in one app is what makes this app so special. Um, so let's go back to the app here because I did skip over a really cool feature and that is the ability to in, uh, create a bootable installer for Mac OS. You can, you pick a USB drive and, um, and then you select it and then it goes through the process of creating a bootable drive. And so uh, for many of, uh, of those who are uh, familiar with Mac OS and Mac OS installers, you're already familiar with 
how to uh, probably download and install yours from the command line. I'm, I'm pulling up this article from 2020. Great um, website. If you haven't checked it out, OS 10 Daily. Really, really great resource. But the software update command in Mac OS gives you the ability to fetch a full installer and specify the version that you want to download. So much like Mist, um, it's really just leveraging this technology behind the scenes, which is why you need that super tool installed when you're using this tool. But it just gives you a nice graphical user interface for doing so. So if you needed to download uh, an app, this is a great way of doing it. You can also list the installers that are available to download, which is very similar to what Mist is doing here, uh, right here in the command line. And um, and you can you can pick specific um, dot iterations of the installer as well. So all built into Mac OS and all possible to do without Mist. But again, Mist just gives you that great user experience. You can also create a bootable installer once you have that installer created by following this great guide on apple.com. And again, we're using the built-in um, create install media, which is part of every download to, um, to take that disk uh, image or take that package or application rather and um, convert it into a bootable installer. So totally can do this without Mist, but again, Mist just makes it so much easier. And then if you really wanted to deploy Mac OS, um, Monkey is a great tool for that. It actually has a built-in feature starting with Monkey 6 where you can stage and deploy specific Mac OS installers um, using the Monkey import. And Monkey import will convert the installer to the appropriate type of um, installer that is needed for the device that you're targeting. So if you're, if you're installing Ventura and you're doing so on an M1 computer, you can stage that installer to work specifically with, with the M1 and then stage it to work specifically for, for an Intel-based computer, which makes it really easy and nice to deploy. Again, sort of under the hood, it's using the same sort of technology that or the same sort of commands that we're seeing in the Mist app. So overall, I really love this app. It's a really cool tool. I just wanted to shout out the, the person uh, who made it. Uh, everybody go to the GitHub repo, um, smash that star and, and give this a, um, uh, a follow so that you get notifications whenever a new release is uh, come whenever a new release comes out. Thank you to Nindy Gill for making it in the first place. Very, very cool tool and uh, one of the best Mac OS utilities and something that is certainly in my toolkit whenever I am troubleshooting Mac OS and trying to uh, deploy it or work with it. At any level, the Mac OS installer super tool is one of the most invaluable applications in my toolkit as a Mac administrator. And I just really want to spread the word about this amazing tool, get more people using it and get more people exposed to amazing open source tools like this. Thanks so much. Hey everybody. So if you love this video and you want to see more great content like it, please check out my LinkedIn page, connect with me, follow me over there. Also, please hit that bell button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.